Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'm going to teach you how to run an accounts receivable aging report in QuickBooks Online. This tutorial is one of our 46 free QuickBooks Online tutorials that you can find by googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorials. So let's get started from our dashboard in QuickBooks Online. In order to run any report, we go to our reports in our left menu bar. We can find our accounts receivable aging report by scrolling down into the who owes, who owes you section. We want the accounts receivable aging summary. So let's click on that. Okay, so for Paul's plumbing, we can see that the uh, basic report is already set up for us. Any accounts receivable that are not overdue would be listed in the first column. Accounts receivables that are overdue by one to 30 days in the second and so forth. So we can set options for this by scrolling up. If the report's long enough, you'll have to scroll up to get to these options at the top. So let's set our report date as the end of last month. So perhaps Paul's Plumbing reviews their accounts receivables at the end of each month. So let's do this for 9-30-2021. Anytime you change your options, you need to hit run report. And here we go. Here's our accounts receivable as of September 30th. Okay, so a few options we can set. Um, we can change the number of days per aging period. 30 days is pretty standard in an AR aging summary, but if you would like to do shorter periods, you certainly can. You can change the number of periods. This is four. Um, we could change it to five if we wanted. Hit run report. Then that'll show from 90 to 120 days and then 120 days and over. So a little bit of customization, really just personal preference, what works for you. Okay, let's talk about this aging method date. This is a little bit tricky. So when we have the aging method here set to report date, it's going to show the accounts receivable that are outstanding as of September 30th. That So not only, so these were outstanding as of September 30th. Okay, if we change this method to the current date, it's going to show our accounts receivable as of September 30th that are still outstanding as of the current date. So today is October 13th. So this accounts receivable from Adam Saracino, I've actually gone in here and I've entered that we've received this payment on October 11th so that it's no longer overdue. Okay, so by changing the aging method to current and then running report, that accounts receivable disappears. Okay, so when we run the report for 930 as of the current date, which is October 13th, it's only going to show the accounts receivable outstanding as of September 30th that are still outstanding as of October 13th. If we change the, this aging method back to the report date, it's going to show all the accounts receivable as of September 30th even if they've been paid prior to the current date. So I'm going to run that report and there we go. The Adam Saracino pops back up. So which aging method you choose is going to depend on how you want to use your report. If you're using the report to decide who to make phone calls to, then you certainly want to add it. You want to use the current method, right? Because you don't want to call Adam because Adam's already paid. Okay, he paid on October 11th after the September 30th. So if we run it by the current date, Adam disappears, we won't accidentally call him and ask him for payment when he's already paid us. Okay, so a little bit confusing. Hopefully that helps clear things up. Okay, other options you can set. Um, you can uh, go over here to customize. So some just basic customization options. How do you want your numbers formatted? How do you want negative numbers to show up? In rows and columns, there's not much you can do. Um, you can hide the zero rows and columns, which is what we have here. In the aging section, we've already talked about this. This is just the same options we have above the report. In our filter option, you can filter them by filter by customer or location. Now, obviously, if you're going to filter by those things, you need to keep track of those things for every transaction. So location might be something uh, that's pretty useful. Perhaps your location managers are the ones that should make phone calls uh, for customers that owe money. But in order to use this location filter, you're going to have to be very good about entering a location for every transaction you enter in QuickBooks. 
Now to do that, you're going to have to have your company set up right. If you Google Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials, you'll see that we have a series of tutorials that teach you how to properly set up your company and one of those will cover setting up locations in classes. And then finally, the header, just some really personal preference items that you can work with. So using these custom customization options, you can really make the report your own. Okay, so once you have your report exactly like you like it, you can distribute it several ways. By clicking the envelope here, you can email it as a PDF, or you can click the printer to obviously print it to your local printer, or you can export the report, and if you export it, you can either export it as an Excel file, which would then allow you to manipulate it further, or you can export it as a PDF file. And finally, if you have the report exactly the way you want it and you know you're going to want it like this numerous times in the future, you can go ahead and save the customization so that you don't have to come back in and customize it every time. So to save the customization, let's click Save Customization and let's call it our customized, call it our custom AR aging summary and click Save. Okay, now let's go back to our dashboard. Next time we want to run an accounts receivable aging report, we go to reports. In our custom reports, we now have a custom AR aging summary. And there we go. That's how you print an AR aging summary in QuickBooks Online. I hope this was helpful. Again, to view all 46 of our free QuickBooks Online tutorials, Google Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorials.